Welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good. Today I'm going to show you how I made this easy and very inexpensive summer wreath. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, leave me a comment, share, and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. For this wreath, you're going to need one package or set of the beautiful bandanas. It's a two pack from Dollar Tree and they're really nice quality. So pick up an extra maybe for your hair or to tie on your handbag. You're also going to need a wreath form. This is an 18 inch Dollar Tree wreath form. You're going to need two green repicks and those came from Dollar Tree and then two sunflower picks and those were 97 cents at Walmart. Mainstays brand. Aren't they pretty? and you're going to need some ribbon with wire for a bow. You will only need one bandana for this DIY, so I just spread it out and I am just cutting it into about three inch strips. You could measure and then make a line if you want yours to be perfect, but it does not have to be perfect. They do not have to be measured exactly. I just cut mine into five strips to make this wreath. The quality on this scarf is really nice. It's really soft and silky texture, so make sure you pick up an extra one for yourself. My daughter likes to buy bandanas for her little coon hound. Her dog is so cute and so sweet to wear bandanas around her little neck. So next I'm just taking the wreath form, flipping it over to the back side, and I am going to hot glue the bandana onto the wreath form. You might want to put on your hot glue finger guards for this part. Let it have time to dry just a little bit, and then you're just going to wrap your wreath ring. Try not to overlap very much. Try to get it nice and smooth, and if you don't overlap it very much, you will make it just fine with one scarf, and I even had an extra piece of scarf left, an extra strip left over. Just be very careful when you're using your hot glue. Make sure you don't hot glue your wreath down to your table also. I am using Gorilla Glue hot glue, and I have my hot glue set on low temp. So just wrap the entire wreath with your bandana. I keep calling it a scarf, but it says on the package two bandanas for $1.25 at Dollar Tree. So this is a really nice find. It does not have to be perfect because we're going to make a swag and add a bow to the bottom. So this is what it looks like when you get it wrapped. And there's the one strip of bandana I had left over. I just love the print on this bandana. I just think it's perfect for summer. Now we're going to make a swag. So take one of your greenery picks, place it on the left, one on the right, overlap the stems. Take one sunflower pick, place it on the left, the other one on the right, overlapping the stems. And then you're going to want to take a zip tie and zip tie your little swag together. This wreath is so simple and easy to make, and I think I have less than $7 in the entire wreath. I already had my ribbon bought. I bought it on sale um, at Sam's Club around February. Their ribbon is such a great deal. At Sam's Club, you get 50 yards of ribbon for less than $7 a roll. Make sure you fluff your flowers, and then you'll kind of want to shape your swag, kind of bend it a little bit so that it fits on your wreath. Now I'm tying a bow for the center of the wreath, and I'm going to be using two colors. So this is the 2.5 inch width ribbon with wire, and then I'm also going to be using some 1.5 inch width ribbon with wire.
Once you have the bow the size you want, then you're going to want to take a zip tie or some floral wire and wrap it nice and tight around the center of your bow. Just make sure you get your zip tie nice and tight around the center. And then to attach it to the wreath, you're going to want to thread a piece of floral wire underneath your zip tie. Next, you're going to want to dovetail the ends. So fold your tail in half with the edges to the left side. Go to the folded side, cut away from the fold. That makes the pretty V on the ends. And then you're going to want to fluff the loops of your bow. Now, when you're tying a bow, you're going to want to use ribbon with wire because the loops will stand up. The bow just holds its shape better and it's just easier to work with. And so here I'm adding the wire underneath the zip tie. That way it's easy to attach to my wreath. So now I'm going to take this wire and I am going to pick up my swag and I'm going to take the bow wire and wrap it nice and tight around the center of my swag and give it a few twists on the back. Now we're going to take the wires and we're going to the bottom center of our wreath and we're going to take those wires, wrap them around our wreath ring, go to the back, give the wires a few twists and then we're going to cut them off short and fold them down. Now you may have to add a wire on the left and the right side to get your greenery to stay in place like you want. Mine was not bending and staying exactly where I wanted it, so I bent it like how I wanted, and then I went ahead and added a wire on the left and the right so that my greenery kind of made an arch. To hang this wreath up, I just took some twine, tied it and made a loop, and then I hot glued it to the top back of the wreath and then covered the knot with a piece of scrap ribbon. I made this wreath last night, so I just went ahead and hung it up on my little um, wood cathedral window. And you can't really see it that well because the lighting just does not do it justice at night. But I made this wreath for my neighbor, so I hope she likes it. So here it is outside in the light. I think it turned out really pretty and it's perfect for summer. So simple and inexpensive to make. Now I have a little clip of Miss Willow. She has really grown. She's like I don't know, a little over six months old right now. So I don't know if she's going to get any bigger or not. You'll have to let me know if you think she'll grow some more or is she already full grown.